What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard, and today we're going to be talking about how to run JavaScript in VS Code. So normally when you're learning to program, you might write up a JavaScript program that prints hello world to the console. You would do console.log hello world, and then you would open up your browser, inspect, and look at the console, and you would see your hello world output. JavaScript is a specific language where it only runs in the browser. However, it can be run outside the browser with a JavaScript runtime. Uh, and in this video, we're going to be talking about specifically Node.js, which is a JavaScript runtime that allows you to run um, JavaScript code outside the browser. Okay, so first you want to just make sure and check to see if you have Node already installed. So I have this example program, hello.js, in my VS Code, and then I have the terminal open here. Now to open a terminal in VS Code, in case you're wondering, you just come up here to Terminal, click on New Terminal, and then that will open up a terminal at the bottom of the, uh, of the program here. So to check and see if you have Node installed, just type in Node-V. All right, and then you can see I have Node installed, and it gives me the version of Node that is installed. Uh, if you don't see this version number here, that means you don't have Node installed and you have to install it. And all you have to do is just come over to here and go to nodejs.org and then you can download it for Mac or Windows or whatever you have. Uh, you can get the current version, which is 15.8, that's fine. Um, and then once you have it installed, just come back to the terminal, type in node-v and you should see the version number here, okay? So that's how you install Node. It's pretty simple. Just follow the instructions with the installer. Coming back to our example program here, hello.js, just a quick run through of the program. All it does is print hello world five times. So you can see I have this little argument here, five. It goes into the main, and then we have just have a for loop that will print uh, for hello world five times by calling our hello world function. Now, one thing that is a little unique about this you might not seen before is this command here, okay? This is the command that will print hello world to the terminal. Normally, you would see maybe like console.log hello world with your you know, program that prints hello world to the console. But for the terminal, we actually have to write process that standard out dot write hello world. And that will actually output it to the terminal, okay? So if I were to run this program using node, all you have to do is type in node and then the name of the program, hello.js. And of course, you can see here, I'm in this JS terminal-example directory. So you have to be in the same directory for this exact command to work. So node, hello.js, you enter, and then you can see hello world is printed five times. All right, so that's how you run a JavaScript program and output information to the terminal. So now we're gonna go a little bit beyond this and talk about command line arguments. So if we want to specifically tell the program how many times we want to print hello world, we're going to need to have it pass a command line argument. So you can see here, I have this uh, hard-coded number five. So that five will print hello world five times. But let's say I want to make it a little bit more flexible and have it take a command line argument and use that command line argument to print hello world a specific number of times. So to write a command line argument, what we want is we want to be able to type in node hello.js and then specify the number of times you want hello world to print. So you can put six, seven, uh, you know, 10, whatever. And we want it to take this piece of information and put it into the spot here so it will print hello world that number of times. So in order to do that, what we have to do is just simply type in const args, which is short for arguments, and then it's process.argv.slice2. So what this is doing is that it's slicing the first two arguments in the terminal here. So it would slice node and hello.js. And then to access the arguments thereafter, we just type in args and then the index of the argument. So if we want the first argument, we just put in a zero, and that's going to allow us to get that first argument after the uh, program name. So now what we can do is we can type in node hello.js2, and what this will do, it will print out hello world two times. So you can see it printed out two times instead of five. 
if we want to do node hello.js and print out 10 times, now it will print out 10 times. Now, if we want to accept multiple arguments, we can do that. Let's say uh, we want node hello.js 10, and then let's say we only want the uh, second argument, so we'll put three. To access the second argument, you just use one, which is because it's the one-th index. Hit enter, and now it prints out hello world three times. Okay, so you can access multiple arguments by just changing the index number here in the args. All right, so that's how you uh, write a program that accepts command line arguments. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to leave a comment down below, and thanks for watching.